Okay, Ford PX Ranger. Uh, this is an interesting one. The customer's complaint was that they were losing the clutch pedal. So every now and then the clutch pedal would just go to the floor, it wouldn't come back up, um, and it would happen intermittently, but then they could pull the clutch pedal back up and then it would start working again. Um, and it would it might only happen like once every couple of weeks type of thing. Uh, so we went through everything on this. We started with the obvious, which is the master cylinder, you know, thinking you've got a sticking cup or something like that. Um, so we we put a new master cylinder on it. There's also a dampener valve up by the master cylinder, so we tried initially taking that out altogether um, just to bypass it. Um, that didn't work. We tried replacing it. That didn't work. Um, and so then we went to the slave cylinder, cylinder, which is a concentric type inside the bell housing, so gearbox had to come out, uh, which is quite a job on these. Um, you would have seen if you're one of my subscri subscribers, the other videos I've shared around that. Um, and so we ended up replacing the slave cylinder. We replaced the clutch while we were in there. What we didn't replace was this little pipe that houses the bleeder, okay? So this actually goes through the bell housing, um, it connects into the um, slave cylinder, and it has the bleeder on it. So this is the one when you're bleeding these that you need to uh, pull one of the clips out to pull the pipe back to allow it to bleed. Okay, so we had done all that, but we hadn't replaced this pipe we gave it back to the customer um, and it was good for a couple of weeks and then it had the same problem again so then we started talking to uh, the suppliers of, of all this clutch equipment and they told us that they have issues with this pipe okay um, which seems ridiculous that if they know they have issues with this pipe uh, and this was only like a $50 part well we don't know why they wouldn't put it in the clutch kit so that you you would automatically replace it while you're doing the clutch um, but they don't do that um, so we had to buy this separately that meant the gearbox had to come out again um, and just to replace this pipe but it turned out that this pipe was what was causing the issue I'm not really sure why except for the fact it houses the bleeder whether that was somehow allowing air to to get into the system or something like that um, there were no leaks around it uh, but yeah replacing this has fixed the issue um, so yeah just a heads up if you come across this issue especially if you're pulling the gearbox out um, yeah chuck one of these pipes in there as well okay because uh, yeah you could save yourself from having to do it twice so just a, a tip for everyone out there um, hope it helps you out. And of course if you haven't already um, subscribed, uh, make sure you subscribe, especially if you're a professional mechanic because I share lots of um, random uh, you know, problems like this that come up that, that is really good to know ahead of time. So if you subscribe and click the bell for notifications, You'll see these problems uh, before they happen to you, hopefully, and be able to be on top of them straight away. You'll remember that there's a video for that, um, and you know where to find it. So click a like on this, and click a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.